Hey, Shalom, Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites come to you week in, week out, prophesying the return of the Most High and His Heavenly Son. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Radash. Double honors to the apostles out of New York, a great millstone and GMS. Honors to all Akim around the planet, lifting up the name of Yahweh, Ba Yahweh Shai, and truth and sincerity. All right, with no further ado, we're going to jump straight into it. This is Brother Uriah. And Brother Yasharia. And, uh, we just gonna go right into it. Um, what did you want the title to be? Um, oh, basically, uh, you know, man, uh, you know, I had to call an elder, you know, for whatever reason, man. You know, I needed some aid, some help, in which you know we all need, you know, hey, man, we all in need of a healing, and we all definitely are in need of, uh, you know, a savior from the afflictions and the things that we're going through, man. You know, uh, anybody that's really comfortable here. In Babylon and the things that they going through, you know, hey, they don't have no uh, wisdom. You know, Ecclesiastes said, "What? Um, it's a time to cry. It's a time to. It's a time for everything, roughly. And right now, a season for all things. A season for all things. Come. But um, right now we definitely in a, a state of mournship, and the whole earth is right now. You know, see it being, it's in the hand of this dang on devil, Esau, Edom. But you know, hey, if you're so called Negro, Latino, Native American, Indian, we are to be serving. How about Shmi Shai? You know, so that we can receive that salvation and that deliverance from this hell and get our new bodies and everything else that the Lord promised unto us, man. But, um, you no, know, basically, uh, this is the book of Luke. I'm going to just get this account. It says, uh, this is the book of Luke. Um, chapter 17 gets straight to the point. I don't think this is the one. This is not the one. I want to get the one where it was better for, uh, Millstone? Yeah. I think it's in Matthew. Well, uh, hold on. Uh, let's put a millstone. Right, um, Matthew's 18, 6. Come on. Come on, it's the book of Matthew. Chapter 18, verse 6, getting straight to the point. It says, but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Mm -hmm. See, and the one and the key thing is uh, for the ones that believe in him, you know, uh, for the true believers that believe in how about Shemi Arashah, you know, they are going to do the things uh, that it takes to please the Lord. You know, they're going to do they're going to go through the suffering, go through the afflictions. Because why? Hey, they believe that hey, our Lord was afflicted. And like the scriptures say, we are not greater than our masters, man. You know, so, hey, and then what else? Hey, the scripture says that, hey, for this is a light affliction. You know, so, hey, uh, what? Let's get Sirach 2 real quick. You know, if you, if you had anything. Mm -hmm. well, just to land back what you just said, is the Lord said the servant is not greater than his master. Mm -hmm. How Shai was speaking to the disciples. Um, he said, can you drink of this cup? He said, yeah. He said, yeah, you surely will drink of this cup. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We are surely drinking of the, out of the cup of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Which is uh, a, a big cup of afflictions, man. Um, they that comes, he said, uh, uh, they that come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation mm -hmm. and constantly endure. Yep. You're going to be going to constant, constant affliction, constant trouble. All right. The beautiful thing is the Lord is not going to make it so constant that he doesn't give us a reprieve from time to time. Mm -hmm. But when you're in that battle, it's heavy, man. And your, your soul will be tested. I'm talking about to the point where you're like, man, am I, I'm, I'm in this truth and I'm, I'm doing everything you said, do, Lord. But why is this so to the point where it, you, the enemy will make you want to give up? All right. You beat be, be down where you you you. It can be a many different myriad of ways. But bottom line, you will be tested. OK. And if you're a young man, a middle aged man or older man in this truth and already been tested, it doesn't matter. You're going to continue to be tested until the most high come back. And the final test is going to be the hour of temptation, all right, which is all, um, which is coming soon. But you got it. Kind. Hey, we the elder. You know, he, he read the first verse already. So this rock two and two, the book of Ecclesiastes says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Hey, see, because the thing is going to always, uh, you know, we always going to run into bumps in the road, man. You know, hey, see it being, hey, this life, we're not the authors of this life. You know, hey, a lot of this stuff, hey, the outcome already happened, man. You know, hey, but all you got to do is is make not haste in time of trouble. You still got to serve the Lord. You still got to be patient, be meek, because those are the ones who the Lord is coming back to save, man. It says, cleave unto him and depart not away. 
that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So, hey man, that could be the end of uh, your, your affliction, a, a situation, you know, a, a bad relationship, a bad situation that you're in. Hey, but ultimately, hey, at the end, when, when, at the end of Jacob's trouble, man, hey, when, when our Lord and Savior come back, man, hey, we, it's gonna, literally going to be men hey, being risen up into the air on those, uh, what they call UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord, man. You know, hey, and that's why we got to continue to endure everything that we're going through hey, so that we can receive that chariot ride, man, and be delivered from the, from the wrath to, to come. Hey, because all of everybody going through some shit. The whole mm -hmm. world going through some shit. Everybody don't have a story to tell. You go into the gas station or the store and ask. Everybody got a story to tell, but hey, everybody's not serving the Lord, man. That's right, baby. Mm -hmm. um, you, got, you, got, you got something? Yeah, just real quick. Exodus 14 and 14 says, uh, uh, The Lord shall fight for you, and, and ye shall hold your peace. That's, I just want to read that, man. That's one of my favorite scriptures. You know, because, hey, there's literally been situations... In, in, in circumstances that I've been in, I'm pretty sure the elder been in, you know, other brothers, man, that's that's in his faith. And, um, man, hey, hey, it's nothing you can do in your little feeble body, you know, in your little feeble mind, you know, with your little feeble bank account. Sometimes situations get hard, man, and it's nothing that you can do. Hey, but if you're serving the Heavenly Father in righteousness, hey, he will fight for you, man. You know, and like it goes back to that deliverance. You've been delivered out of that affliction. But first, you got to continue to serve the Lord and bear bear through it. You know, hey, trusting in him, believing, believing that he's going to bring you through it, man. That's it. This is um, second address, 11 and uh, 41. For the earth hast thou not judged with truth. For thou hast afflicted the meek. Thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved liars. And destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit, and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up into the highest, and thy pride unto the to unto the mighty. The highest also have looked upon the proud times, and behold, they are ended, and his abominations are fulfilled. See, we are getting to the time right now, uh, where this uh, Esau's sins have mounted up, the two thirds have mounted up. And it's time for the reckoning. It's time for the visitation. It's time for the judgment. For all those who afflict the righteous, man, all those who afflict the men of the Lord, the women of the Lord, the children of the Lord, who've been trying to do what the Most High say do. And there's going to be a payback. There's going to be a vindication. All right? That's why they said it's better than the, the, uh, that a millstone be hanging on the neck for you, for one motherfucker to defend, to, uh, to offend a, a, a righteous Israelite. He said, the Lord, he said, don't let the righteous Israelite cry to him in, the, in their bitterness. The Messiah said, he's going to hear the matter. And guess what? He's going to come and do something. Now, sometimes we want the Lord to come, like, get him now, Lord, right now. And Lord, like, look, nigga, first of all, I'm going to set it up. The Lord know how to set it up better than we can set it up. We're doing it all of this hurt and anguish and so forth. But trust me, the Lord's, ju the Lord's judgment is better than any judgment we can inflict on ourselves. All right. Let the Lord do it. The Lord says, vengeance is mine, saith the Most High. He shall repay. And guess what? Every single one who's afflicted, the righteous, afflicted, you know, the uh, the elect and disobedient to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, they're going to get it. All right. Mm -hmm. What is saying in the movie Friday? It's your ass, Mr. Postman. Mm -hmm. It's your ass. All right. They're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You got something? Um, yeah, just real quick. Matthew 10. And because um, I'm going to quote, I'm going to quote this first Corinthians. I mean, the second Corinthians, uh, you know, five and 10, you know, it's talk about we all must appear before the, the judgment seat of the house. Watch me out. man. You know, because I, every, everything that we do in our body, whether it be good or be evil, we're going to be judged accordingly. And see, but when you follow the law, statutes and commandments of the Lord, well, the best of your ability, the best that you know how. You know, at, at all times, you know, because, you know, some 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 people will try to, you know, you know what the what people do with the different doctrines and how they can get liners and trimming ways to seek love and all of that, man. But um, if you're serving the Lord in righteousness and you, um, um, man, uh, you basically follow the laws of the Lord, you know how to deal with people. You know how to deal with your brothers. You know how to treat people in the world. 
You know, hey, hey, you're not looking to afflict nobody else because you understand afflicting, especially uh, another another Israelite. But it says in Matthew 10 and 42, and whosoever shall give to drink one of these little ones a cup of water only in the name of a disciple. Verily, unto, I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. See, hey, you when you when you dealing with men of the Lord or men, and women or men that serve the Lord, man. You know, a, a, you do unto them that righteous, man, as unto the Lord, because that's what they practice, man. You know, a, we, we don't practice going off just treating people like shit. You know, we, we try to act as Israelites because we want to be judged as Israelites when our Lord come back, you know. Well, we can't we, we, we can't do that. If if we do that, we don't have the spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. the, to have the spirit of the Lord is with kindness, with meekness, with humility, with long suffering. All right. That's the reason why the bodies has been growing the way it's been growing over the, you know, the 30 plus years that the elders, you know, starting with the uh, Abba Bivens started this this ministry. All right. Um, which has been around 60, 70 years, man. The, the Lord said, this is how you know that you are, you know, uh, uh, the love that you the love that we have butchering the scripture. But the love that we have for one another is the proof uh, uh, of that the Lord is dealing with us. All right, bro, bro. I've seen brothers, myself included, being in jams, bro. I mean, jams. I remember the first jam I was in when I had bought. I think this is before you were around. Mm. I had a Malibu, a silver Malibu, and uh, you know, spent you know, bought it uh, from a so-called reputable dealer. You know what I'm saying? And uh, within two months or something of buying it, the transmission went out. I'm like. Oh, let me take this bitch right back to the reputable dealer. And the reputable dealer was like, oh, yeah, that's not covered in your warranty. Mm -hmm. And it's like, motherfucker, I just, I ain't even finished paying. What the fuck? And he's like, yep, you still going to have to pay on it. Otherwise, we're going to, you know, take it about the bam. Mm -hmm. I said, ain't this a bitch? I ain't got no money to do this. So I went to the to the, to the church and um, we didn't have it. You know, we didn't have, you know, the men, as many brothers that we have now. And, um... We didn't have it, so um, we let the uh, the apostles know. And man, why why did the apostles man make sure brothers from from L.A., brothers from Dallas, brothers from up top New York, and brothers from Chicago, you know, brothers, brothers some brothers from the region, whatever, they all chipped in and paid over two thousand dollars for my my transmission, so I can go work. Where the fuck do you? I guarantee you at 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 at, at the first national. Um, low, low East uh, Baptist Methodist Episcopalian um, Harvest of the Moon uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, Church St. George You know what I'm saying It ain't gonna do that You know They're not gonna say oh, uh, Well you know what uh, uh, um, Brother Smith Needs uh, 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 His rent Help on his rent So let's go put a collection for. They don't do that shit bro You know what they'll do You know what brother Let me pray for you yeah. In Jeeva's name that's, that's gonna do some shit yeah. You know what I'm saying but I've seen it where brothers are in jams, bigger than jams than that. All right? Shit, I, man, we stay in, we got, man, we stay in jams. That's why the Lord given us men who make a lot of money, men who make a little money, men who make just enough money. And between us all, we all got money. You know what I'm saying? To where we'll, we'll, I'll have no problem giving my last to a brother. Why? Because I know the Lord won't give it back. You know what I'm saying? But that's the way the Lord has built us up. This world, this world don't give a fuck about you. Esau don't give a fuck about you. These two-third Jakes don't give a fuck about you. These heathens don't give a fuck about you. And they don't give a fuck about you. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. That's why we go through all these afflictions, man. And we also go through our afflictions as well because we bear the indignation of the Lord, man. Micah was at a... He said, I would, I think it's Micah. He said, I would bear the indignation of the Lord because I sinned against him. So we're, we're, we're in part suffering, you know, uh, uh, righteously and we're in part suffering wrongfully for the different things out here. And guess what? That's part of the mission. Mm -hmm. All right. But uh, the Lord says, uh, woe to them um, that cause offenses, you know, because he said offenses will come, but woe to them that who they come by, man. So these people who are committing these offenses, committing these egregious shit, you're talking about your particular, you know, case, and uh, you know that was dealing with earlier, and and you saw how they were just so ready to just take you down, mm -hmm. ready to be evil, mm -hmm. you know, with no provocation, no just cause. 
the Lord has got a vindication for that. Your woman acting a fool, the Lord got a, a vindication for that. Esau, the popo got a, you know, afflicting you. Mosai got a, something for that. Your taxes coming against you, they got, Lord got something for that. This is the time right now just to hold the line. Continue to do what you're supposed to be doing, what you've been doing. All right? If you continue, the scripture says, hold that fast which thou hast. Mm -hmm. All right? And let no man take thy crown. That means you fight hard. You don't let go. You go through the ups and downs. You go through the ins and out. If you had to do what King David said, uh, water your couch, 